Hey everybody, Nathan Baird from Cleveland.com here from the Ohio State Spring Game. First time we've been back on this field since we think the Penn State game in 2019. It's been a long time and a, a, it's, it was overdue. It's nice to be back down here in Ohio Stadium on the field. And uh, some football was played here today. And obviously the most scrutinized position today was going to be the quarterback battle. Uh, C.J. Stroud, Jack Miller, Kyle McCord. I thought all three... Look good at times. All three had some issues at times, but the overarching theme for me today was that C.J. Stroud, we assumed was the leader of this thing coming into the spring. We assumed he was the leader of this thing coming into today, and I thought today that was only reinforced. I thought he was the one that looked the sharpest. He was the one that looked uh, just kind of the most in command. It's kind of one of those things that you kind of know it when you see it, and I think you see it more from C.J. Stroud at this point than you do the other two guys. I thought Kyle McCord, though, showed uh, some good things as well. I thought Jack Miller was the one of the three who maybe had the, the most uh, issues coming out of today that he'll want to try to work on, you know, some accuracy things, some uh, decision-making, uh, including throwing a pick in the red zone on the, the first drive of the game. So those things will, will obviously loom in fans' minds. But Stroud is just playing right now with uh, – with a poise and just a certain command of the position that I think is probably going to end up winning out here. I thought you saw a couple of instances today where you could tell that he was the one who had been here the longest and 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 showed some evidence as why he was probably the one that was in front at the end of last year, the one going into games for Justin Fields uh, late last season. So he, I, I thought we learned some things today. I don't think this position battle was won today, but I think C.J. Stroud kind of further affirmed in everyone's mind why he's leading this quarterback battle right now. Hey everybody, it's Steven Means, and I am on the field. I never thought I'd be able to say that sentence ever again, so let's just start there. Yeah, Nathan's right. I think it was the Penn State game last time we were down here. But listen, I'm not going to play the game here. C.J. Stroud might not have won the job in the mind of the coaches yet, but as we talked about on Buckeye Talk, he could come out here and in the fans' mind win the job. And with that stat line, you kind of win the job, especially when you – Jack. Miller didn't always look great. He had some good moments, but he also had some moments where it was clear he was holding on to the ball a little bit too long and going through his reads a little slow. He did have the interception in the end zone, had some accuracy issues. While Kyle McCord showed his upside, I mean, he had a couple big plays. He had to throw to Garrett Wilson. He had a couple others as well. He probably – the most big play of the of the quarterback is probably him. So if you had to rank it off of who's got the best arm, he's probably number one. But if we're going to be honest here, of quarterbacks who had the best performance today, C.J. Stroud is one, Kyle McCord is two, Jagger Leroux is the walk on is probably three, and he probably had the best throw of the night of the day to Sam Wilkins in the end zone. That's walk on the walk on, and then you'd probably put Jack Miller fourth. Obviously, a lot can change between now and September. But if we're going to be honest with ourselves, the momentum was towards C.J. Stroud coming into today. You know, all he did was help that with the way he performed.